Hey there, Commanders. This week's community goal is a conflict between the Retort Reort Mining Coalition and the Sirius Corporation. Uh, the principal reward on offer here is a system permit. Reort is offering you the Alioth permit, and Sirius is offering you the Sirius permit. Both factions require you to make the top 75% of supporters to get your reward. I don't see any reference here that says only the winner gets an award. It's possible that whether or not your faction actually wins in the particular goal that you'll still get rewarded for participating. Uh, however, just a note for urgency here, Inara estimates that this thing's going to get done pretty quick. Uh, Saturday afternoon, probably late afternoon, depending on how aggressively things pick up. Saturday morning is likely going to see a surge in gameplay, so this could wrap up Saturday early afternoon, maybe around noonish, depending on where you live. Uh, the recommendation I have if you're going to go after this award for Reort is to get $3 million in combat bonds. That will hopefully secure you a good spot. I expect this figure to climb probably into the, the 2500s. It could shoot as high as 3. I don't think it's going to shoot past 3, but please make sure you're monitoring Inara when, uh, when these goals are, are finishing aggressively like this so that you can map out your time because... To get uh, 3 million credits in combat bonds, you're probably going to have to commit close to 3 hours of gameplay in a moderately optimized chip with mid-tier skill. If you know what you're doing and you've got a ton of engineering done, you can probably do this faster, but here's the problem. This community goal is most relevant to people who don't have engineering, so I'm expecting if you're trying to gun for the Alioth permit or the Sirius permit, uh, you're probably not engineered all the way which means that some of this stuff's going to be challenging for you. Conflict zones are very dangerous if you aren't engineered because all of the ships are fitted for bear. They are heavily armored, heavily shielded, or packing all the weapons in the book that you can think of that NPCs will typically run. And uh, they're a slog if you're alone. So if you can get into a wing, I recommend it. If you can't, I recommend playing conservatively. Get chip damage on ships here and there try to fight with the npcs and use them as meat shields if someone comes after you break engagement make yourself as passive a target as possible as evasive a target as possible and just move especially if there are spec op ships in the area you don't want to be actively threatening hostiles when they're around because they'll prioritize the biggest threat in the system um, it's a great way to get yourself killed. If all four of those ships focus you down, you're you're in danger even if you're fully grade 5 engineered across the board. I've had Spec Ops guys almost kill me several times. The only more dangerous place that you can go in Elite Dangerous to fight NPCs is a pirate activity beacon or Thargoids. So play it safe. If you're trying to get these rewards... You might consider breaking off every once in a while to turn into a station so that you don't wind up with explosion sad face because it really sucks to put in two hours of, of uh, gameplay only to get squashed because of some random stupid mistake. I also recommend grinding this outside of open play if you're not fully engineered because community goals like this tend to attract a lot of federal corvettes who are not going to be nice to you if they see you in open play most of the time, especially if you sign up for the opposing faction. You're also going to have a lot of PvPers going around looking for a fight. This is the kind of environment they love to operate in. So if you sign up for open play, um, you're signing up for anything that follows. It can make for some great fun if that's what you're looking for, but if you're just trying to get your credits, stay out of open. You're going to probably die, and it will be very sad. So uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Um, if you only have time to gun for one reward, Reort is your best bet. The engineer unlock tree can be a little bit complicated though. You'll need to get both of these permits eventually, but they are both earnable through normal gameplay as you progress through the engineering tree. Uh, if you can only get one, I recommend going after Bill Turner because his rewards are a lot more lucrative. Uh, Marco Quent is basically a stepping stone to get Professor Palin and then Laurie Jameson. Uh, those are the two more significant engineers that people like to grab because they... Uh, Lori is just well-balanced and offers a ton of stuff. Palin has dirty drives, and you need dirty drives to be competitive in a lot of situations in the game. Bill Turner offers plasma accelerators, which makes him extremely popular among PvPers, but he's also farther along in the tree. 
So I would look at who you've got unlocked in the tree, use this chart on Inara, it's just inara.cz slash engineers, to figure out where you are. Go for the permit that you're closer to. Um, if it's kind of a tie or you just wanna go for best value, Bill Turner and the Alioth system is your best bet. Um, otherwise, just kind of feel things out. I'm not gonna, well, there's not much I can say beyond that. Uh, this is, this would otherwise be an unremarkable community goal. I'm surprised that it's progressing this quick. It's moving with a slightly less intense pace than the Brewer community goal, but it's still looking like it's going to wrap up before Sunday even hits. So um, weigh your time and your rewards appropriately. Make sure that you have enough time to get what you need. I would budget at least three hours. Check Inara before you log into Elite Dangerous. Make sure that you've got those three hours and that you're not... Uh, up against the wall. I've had community goals complete on me when I had just one more cargo run to complete in order to get the reward, and it really sucked. So if you think it's gonna be tight, I recommend not stressing yourself out and just uh, let the permits come naturally as you progress through the engineering tree. It'll cost you about a day, maybe two, to unlock each one of these systems through normal gameplay. So it's a good shortcut if you have it, but uh, this just kind of wrapped up a little too quick. So that's all I've got for today. I will catch you guys later.